Hey everybody, Mirror Universe Marvin here from the Editing Bay. This is a quick bonus recap episode that we originally recorded at the end of our Neutral Zone discussion from the last episode. It ran a bit long, so I decided to turn it into its own little bonus episode here. And I hope you guys enjoy it, and thanks for listening. Well, speaking of the whole season, this is a, this is a good time to uh, go through a short recap of first season. We'll go through it, the description of each really fast, and I just have some questions. Okay, so we're starting from the top. Encounter a far point, which is the two-parter. And that was the one where they had to rescue the weird squid aliens from... No, the jellyfish aliens. They're more jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish. Jellyfish from a planet. And also Q was there. And that and then they made him do a trial, and that's it. Wait, that was the first episode. That was the first episode. (laughs) Well, it was it was across two episodes. Remember? Yeah, it was a two parter. It started off with Q like showing up. It's a really weird beginning to a series, like to have have Q of all characters show up, put them on a show trial, and then after that, be like, eh, let's just uh, put you back. And then now we're gonna go on a mission where we rescue these these uh, jellyfish aliens. Uh, after that is one of Ricardo's favorite episodes, The Naked Now, where everyone got drunk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, th- we are introduced to Wesley's true true personality as a terrorist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, everyone wants to have sex. It's one yeah, of those episodes. Yeah. And, every, and some people do have tons of sex. It becomes a huge orgy. Good for um, them. Yeah. Good for them. Yes. Then we have Code of Honor, uh, the one that Jonathan Frakes uh, charitably called a racist piece of shit. Because it is the Wakanda episode. Yeah. And uh, Space Wakanda. Yeah. with The gang goes to Space Wakanda. Yeah. The gang yep. goes to Space Wakanda because Tosh Yar got kidnapped. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 And then uh, after that, the last outpost, which was the one where that planet was the, holding. The gang the- meets the Wayne's brothers. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah. They meet the Ferengi. <laughs> Yeah, yep. exactly. And uh, they uh, are both trapped on the planet in orbit and then to go down and talk to a really, really old man and he lets them go. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, we have where no one has gone before, which is where the one where Wesley meets the love of his life, the traveler. Mm-hmm. And uh, the traveler reveals that Wesley is space, space Mozart. Yeah. And they travel to the edge of the universe and then they come back. Wesley OTP. Space Mozart. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then we have Lonely Our, Among we, Us. We, <laughs> Wesley Wesley be, befriends a Wesley be, befriends a pedophile. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And reciprocates. <laughs> he he's really yeah. into it. He initiates the hand holding with the yes. traveler. Yes. So uh I'm not saying that's consent. I'm just saying Wesley's strange. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Um then we have mixed signals from Wesley. Yeah, Wesley is just very, very odd. Uh, and then we have Lonely Among Us. That's the one where Picard got uh, taken over, right? By an entity? Uh, I actually yeah. don't remember this one that well. That, that's the one, right? And then he's on the bridge and he shoots lightning. You're thinking yes, of the Emperor yes. Palpatine, dude. <laughs> I think I think that happened this episode. I don't quite remember. It's the one well, where one of the engineers died. Yeah, because of the console explode. And oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Then we have Justice, where uh, Wesley ruins a trip to the sex planet by stomping yeah. on some flowers. The gang yep. goes to the sex planet. Yeah, and uh, Wesley Wesley gets ex- executed. Yeah, well, Hopefully. he was about to be, yeah. and then Picard was forced to destroy the Prime Directive to save and then Wesley. Picard ruined everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, then we have the battle in which a Ferengi mind controls Picard with a weird red dome uh, yep. to make him relive yep. the relive the battle where he killed the Ferengi guy's son yeah. and uh, was going to kill Picard. But then, the gang uh, battles the Wayne's brothers again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but, but but they're back and stronger than ever. Yeah, uh, and then hide and Q Q returns, uh, but this time he is fucking with Riker, right. and then he gives Riker Q powers for a little bit. And Riker like gives Jordy his eyesight. He makes Wesley an adult. He gives Worf like a lady, uh, and this is about it. And then they they're like, "We don't want this." 
And the gang then, finds a genie. Yeah, and then then they the gang returns a genie. Yeah, <laughs> they're like we don't want this anymore, and they bring it back to the store. Uh, <laughs> then we have Haven, uh, yeah. the one where uh, one of your favorite characters, Luwaxana Troy, yeah, uh, visits her daughter because she has to go through this marriage to Teabag. The, the yep. gang meets Teabag. Yeah, the yep. gang the gang meets Teabag, and then Teabag runs away. Yeah, to save the the Terrellians. The, yeah, the midi chlorians. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah and that, that was a midi chlorian episode. Yeah, yeah. That, that was electrolytes. That's electrolytes, it. that's yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that was your term for them. Damn it, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but then, yeah, he and Riker pouts because he can't bang Deanna Troy freely anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah T-Bag uh, goes to live at a, in an aerobics video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where everyone's dressed very 80s, silk sexy. T-Bag uh, discovers mid rate. Yeah. Then the big goodbye, our first holodeck episode, where everyone dresses up uh, and the Dix- as a, as if they're in a Dixon Hill novel. Yeah, and everything, and, and playing on the radio is ba da ba 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 Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Waylon gets shot. Yeah, and then uh, they solve it, and then we have like one tiny little moment where we wonder about the the lives of holodeck people who Characters. are created, and they wonder, do I die? And Picard goes, I don't know. And then he leaves. Yeah. So yep. that's. I don't know, but you're gone. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I don't have time to worry about this. And he leaves. No, yeah. Not we, only we do I not know, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 frankly, I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Frankly. Yeah. Frankly. Well, no. Then we have Data Lore, which is Lore episode. very first episode. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, Laura shows up. He's an I, asshole. I, I've, I, I've, we've established that I've done this twice now. Yeah, where I've yeah. like confused episodes just because I may be too inebriated to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, but this yeah. one is Data finds his brother. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then hashtag uh, double impact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then uh, th- he's um, threatens to turn Wesley into a little torch, and uh, he gets transported away somewhere. And yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's the one where they're about to <laughs> toss a tree at a crystal yeah. in space. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. Also, the introduction of the crystal and entity, which does become a thing later. So, okay. Um, Angel One. Uh, yeah. It's the it's it's the female planet. Yeah. Where uh, right. they they're trying to find uh, survivors of a freighter crash. Where the mistress so, checks out Data's dick. Yeah. He, she's like, oof, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how functional he is. Yeah. And uh yeah, which, which, fully. which yeah. Yara found out earlier. <laughs> yes. That she did. Yeah, yes. we failed yeah. to mention that. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, that was that was what happened in the Naked Now. Tasha yeah. and Data get it on. Yeah. Uh and uh yeah. And then Angel One basically it turns out that uh, we we leave them there, but they're gonna be uh, exiled to some island. Whatever they leave, <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> uh, then we have one one zero zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero zero one, yeah, which exactly. is also a song by um. Never mind. No, I forgot the band. I forgot the band's name. <laughs> I mean, I've uh, heard it. I just don't know who did it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, where we have the binars, and they they make the holodeck extra sexy for Riker. Oh yeah, it's a br- 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 yeah. Br- br- the, the yeah, br- yeah, the, yes. yeah, the br- 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 and then yeah. uh, the they make minuet for Ryder, Ryder, oh, uh, Riker. Oh yeah, dude! And Riker gets super horny while playing the yeah. trombone. Yeah, and Picard joins in. Yeah, uh, but Picard. Th- this episode's called uh, Picard and Riker almost have a threesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Devil's three way. Sorry. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And then uh, shenanigans occur. Yeah, essentially. And then yeah, um, then we have too short a season. Which is the, the one gang with the meets ter- Benjamin Button? Yeah, with the terrible, terrible makeup. Yeah, and the guy yeah. who who caused the planet to have a war for centuries or decades or whatever. Yeah, and then that's basically the whole episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he goes back and he's just Benjamin Button causes a war. Yeah, that's the episode. <laughs> uh, uh, when the bow breaks, which is the one where a bunch of old people kidnap a bunch of children from the Enterprise. Mars yep. needs kids. Yeah, yep. exactly. Mars needs kids. Uh, home soil, the uh, ugly bags of mostly water. Yeah. Uh, that's all we need to know about that one. That's it. <laughs> the other crystalline entity. Yes. Uh, the ones that they call microbrains. <laughs> which is... Yeah, right. Microbrains. <laughs> and then coming of age. Uh, yeah. It's the one where Wesley 
takes the uh, Starfleet entrance exam. And it's then, also the introduction of Mr. Remick. Yes, it is. It's the one where he co- they, they come on board and then they're they're grilling everybody. And you get like yeah. a kind of a nice recap of events of leading up to then, yeah. Yeah. And and an act had some like Ricardo mentioned before, had some interesting editing where they're cutting back and forth as they're inter- interrogating. It had the most interesting editing of the season. Yeah. Uh where they're going between characters through interrogations and reaction West, shots. Wesley finds right. out he's a dumbass. <laughs> and yeah, can't this talk to six ladies. episodes prior to conspiracy, which is the payoff on this setup. Yes, yes, yes. Uh then we have coming of eight. Oh, sorry, we just did coming of eight. We have Heart of Glory. Uh, which is the Klingon centric wharf episode, which is basically there's a plot of Klingons wanting to be terrorists, but it's basically more about Worf discovering more Klingon stuff. Yeah. And us right. discovering Worf more about Klingon discovers stuff. his Klingon yell. Yes. Yep. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh so that's Heart of Glory. Then we have yep. the Arsenal of Freedom, which is yep. the the fun uh Incredibles syndrome planet yeah. episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a, it's just basically a, an adventure episode yeah. where like shit's happening on the planet. Jordy's having to hold down the ship uh, in orbit with the novice crew. It's yeah. very it's a very fun. It's a lot of like fun technical storytelling because there's a lot of like moving parts and action and it's interesting. Just remember, uh, just say that you'll buy the full version. Yeah, yeah, just say you'll buy the full version and it'll leave you alone. <laughs> and except then, when the the weapon up up in space still tries to attack you. <laughs> yeah. And then uh symbiosis, yeah. which is the, the, the drug episode. Yeah. Um, it's called what's are, happening now with prescription drugs. <laughs> it's called <laughs> the current opioid crisis. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, that's it. <laughs> and one, um, one, one group of people is trying to give people <laughs> opioids. Another group of people thinks they need them. Yeah. Yep. That's it. That's the whole that's episode. Yeah. And Picard apparently and can't get that's involved. That's what's happening. Yeah. Picard, literally, yeah. what Dan just did, wipes his hands of the yeah. situation. Picard is a binge. and walks away. <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought of a good point. Uh, like, you know how Picard is like, well, because we didn't fix the ships, you know, soon the trade will stop. Blah blah blah. It's like, what if they just learn? They get desperate yeah. and they just learn how to fix the yeah. ship. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, oh, we just keep it's probably continuing. easier. Like it's probably <laughs> easier for some like scientific minds to learn that much than to yeah. what if they just overhaul like, an entire like, society? Yeah, maybe on that one ship, no one knew, but then like it's become an emergency, right? So they ask the whole planet, does anyone here know? I'm sure one guy has some idea. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you know? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a really big assumption on Picard's part. But whatever. Have you been in the house where everyone's smoking pot and then no one could figure out how to get the Xbox to work? And then you're like, <laughs> yeah. does anybody know how to fix this? And there's one dude who's like, yeah. Yeah, I got this to me all the time. Give yeah. me a four yeah. by four, fucking some duct tape, some electrical tape, <laughs> and a slice Paper of pizza. Clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then you have Skin of Evil, uh, Ricardo's favorite episode because Tashi yeah. dies. Fuck uh, <laughs> shit, dude. Well, <laughs> the best, worst episode. The, the, gang, yeah. the, gang, the gang meets uh, Venom. Yeah, the gang meets Venom, and Venom mm-hmm. kills Tasha Yar. Yeah, uh, fuck Venom, dude. Yeah. Then piece. we have, <laughs> then we have. We'll always have Paris, which is uh, scientist is causing fuck ups in time. Scientist happens to be married to Old Flame of Picard. Yeah. Uh, now action. That's the episode. <laughs> um, and, the gang meets the dildo machine music oh yeah oh yeah the dildo yeah, yeah. instrument yeah the dildo I've, instrument. I've come to learn that's a real instrument oh my god that's embarrassing yeah for them yeah for plays that instrument. Instrument of what it yeah. actually looks like, like yeah it's yeah. called a a, a crystal uh, sorry let me let me look it up really quick it's like a i think, a, I think you're making it up dude i think crystal some, bosch some, bosch some i don't know how to pronounce that a star trek fan was like i'll make that instrument and make it look like a drill yeah yeah <laughs> well it's a okay here's the thing it is a real instrument the problem is that it's a shitty plastic, colorful version of the instrument. Yeah. It's like like they showed like like Riker playing a trombone, right? Mm-hmm. They didn't give him a shitty plastic no. like red trombone. He was really. It's a real trombone. <laughs> so I, I can appreciate the fact this is a real instrument. I did, I don't appreciate the fact that it's made of stupid future space plastic. Yeah, it looks stupid. That's my real issue with it, but. Anyway, that happens. Then conspiracy happens, which is, you know, the payoff for the thing. The gang meets the worm aliens. Yeah, yeah, worm aliens, horrific violence. That's a lot of fun. 
Uh, and then the episode we just saw, the neutral yeah. zone, Romulans show up and some humans are defrosted. Uh, so having gone through a really quick run through of the whole series, let me ask you guys all a quick question. What is your favorite episode of the season? Ooh, favorite episode. Like Ricardo, does it remain the neutral zone? <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I like the fuck planet one, the Justice um, mm. episode. Mm-hmm. Um, just because it's just really funny, but <laughs> like I hate the episode where Tasha, where Yara, yeah, Tasha Yara dies. Skin of evil, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's my favorite episode because because of the ideas it just it it touches and discusses the neutral zone. You mean? Yeah, or, yeah. Okay, okay. How about you, Dan? Hmm. I don't have one like specifically in mind. Let me think. <laughs> that's kind of it's kind of hard for me to say come back to me okay well i would say my favorite episode is one one zero zero one zero zero one i really like that episode in retrospect because it's a very tng episode you know what i mean yeah like like the plot is is interesting it has that really exciting scene where they have to like evacuate it really fast and it's really cool oh yeah yeah that that's true that's pretty exciting it's got it's got like the holodeck stuff you see a star base you know and that's interesting and like you know and the plot is interesting the idea the concept of these aliens that like have to live on a like connected to a computer and they're so afraid that they have to hijack this ship and then like uh, Riker and Picard kind of just figure it out on their own, you know, mm-hmm. it's like they, they, because they force it to be just those two characters, like it, you see how they have their wits about them. And like, you know, and then Picard does that, in, that funny thing where he's like, oh, I will drive the ship back. It's been a while. And then he, f- he jiggles his fingers and presses a few buttons and, you know, you know what? I a- think it convinced me. Uh, those are all, <laughs> those are all things that recommend that episode. And I, I agree. <laughs> I, I think that is yeah. a, pretty, a pretty good stand up. Yeah, I, I think I think you'd be hard. It'd be hard to find someone who um, who's a Star Trek fan and doesn't like that episode because that episode's pretty yeah, but, good. But you you're liking this because this is, it, you're you watched this before. Well, yeah, from the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I, I think it's I think it's an interesting episode. Like, okay. but, but also because you have the knowledge of the whole series and you you're saying well your statement and your statement you're saying I like it because it's the most Star Trekky of them all because you've seen the whole series. I guess so. If it, it like it's a to me, I mean that's one of the reasons. Like it's a very prototypical TNG episode where it's like it's very character driven, you know. Like, mm-hmm. like I, and I one of the things I really love about the episode is all of the little character moments at the beginning. You know, like we're on leave, like and we, like we get to finally see what they do on leave. You know, true. Like yeah. like oh, uh, Picard's gonna read a nice Dixon Hill novel. Jordy is going to teach painting to Data, and they're gonna hang out. Like it starts establishing the friendship a lot more. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Tasha Yar and War for bonding. They're gonna go play Parcheesi Squares. You know, and yeah. like I don't know what that is, but it looks like a, a violent sport that both of them enjoy. So yeah, that really fits so the personality. It turns out it's violent Uno. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I don't know. Yeah. Like it be all for all we know. And put you on know, your and blue spandex. You're playing space Uno. <laughs> Yeah. And like and like Riker claims he just finds things to do, which is you know he's he's just jacking off. But hey, yeah. we know now. Now we know. And uh, <laughs> it is a, it is nice also that this episode um, had minimal Wesley. All he did was look yeah. at Vinar's butts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yeah, he dude. was he was fine. Like his involvement wasn't like he didn't become a central point of the episode or anything. Exactly. So, that, that, that pervert. Yeah, it's good. It's a good. Thing. Th- that that episode is a good use of Wesley if he has to exist in that position. Like <laughs> like don't make him the central focus. He's really annoying when he is. Um. So yeah, that's what I would say. What would you think? Dan? So you would think one hundred one 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 zero zero one zero zero one or. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I do agree. Like everything that you mentioned, um, that holds true for me as well. Okay, okay. Now, what is your least favorite episode of the season? Okay, that one might be a little easier to identify, although I don't have like a go-to already. What about you, Ricardo? It's the episode where fucking Tasha Yara died, you fucking <laughs> assholes. Gene yeah, Roddenberry. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. This is is it specifically because Tasha dies? Yeah. Then, I right. hate Gene's rotten berries. <laughs> she wanted to leave. It wasn't this. It wasn't like. He his... should have said, you have a contract, idiot. You, you're here for five <laughs> years. <laughs> I think I think always the unfortunate part 
of 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 uh, Denise Crosby li- leaving is that second season is when they really start getting into the type of material she would have liked. Yeah, and she just didn't get to stick around. Granted, there were other things like like it was apparently like a pretty toxic environment to work in and whatnot because like everyone kind of fucking hated each other because of all the politics. Mm-hmm. So you know, like no one was having a good time. So it's part of why everything seems so strained. I think as the seasons went on, they be- all became better friends. It became much more of a, a better chemistry. Well, I think I show. heard also that like the first season was like tumultuous to the point that um, I think I only saw this in like a, a comment on one of our like posts on social media, but it was like it was to the point where Picard was kind of like living out of his car because he wasn't, he didn't want to commit to like, he didn't think this show would last. So he didn't yeah, think that he needed yeah. to like commit to any sort of living situation. Yeah, yeah, because he like like Picard, or, or Patrick Stewart constantly was like, "This show is going to end at any moment." I also kind of don't want to be here. This is like a gig in between real gigs. Mm-hmm. I mean, little did he know it become like the defining role of his career. But <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nuts. Yeah, yeah, but that just comes shows comes to show. You never know what's going to happen, and uh, you know, like like he had to be convinced by his friends and his agent. To go on the show. They're like, it's Star Trek, dude. Like, you're, it's going to be great. Like, don't worry. Just stick with it. I mean, yeah. c- considering this, this season, and if this was all you had to go by, mm-hmm. I would, I would understand thinking that the future's shaking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, totally. c- like, cause it, they didn't know Gene Roddenberry would take a step, step back. Right. Mm-hmm. And he was honestly the problem with the show. Like, he was way too controlling. And his understanding of what Star Trek was, was so narrow that it just became really boring. So, you know, I would say my least favorite episode is Code of Honor. I really Hmm. don't care for that episode. (laughs) Code of Honor is pretty bad. Yeah. You're talking about Space Wakanda, right? Space Wakanda. Yeah. Just because it's just like, I mean, yes, it's racist, uh, but it's also just like nothing happens. Really? I don't quite understand the the politics of what's going on. Like, it's about like women own land, but then the men own the women or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's, really it's odd, not very like, it's very, it's setup. not clear. It's very confusing. It's really but, convoluted. Yeah, there's but a nothing stupid, was insulting. One of the worst really looking battles I've ever seen in Star Trek. You know, and that's oh, the, counting the tag cha- the tag challenge. Yeah, with the stupid fucking fist. What, of you mean spikes? the super laser jungle gym? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly, and it's just like. You know, there's more exciting fights in TOS. Fucking the fight with the Gorn is more exciting than that. Because that's just like, like swinging wildly and like, it's whatever. <laughs> and then to top it all off, bullshit prime directive shit. Where they're like, yeah, we can't get involved. Yeah, shit's pretty bad. Where you can't get involved even though they kidnapped one of our team members. That makes no sense. <laughs> and they're clearly indigenous, like not indigenous, but like they're clearly aware enough to interact with us enough to give us a vaccine. Why is Prime Directive still an issue here? Don't make no right. sense. I forgot yeah. that they that they brought a vaccine with them. Yeah, they needed the vaccine to save a pe- save a people on another yeah, planet. They seem to interact with a, a lot of civilizations based off of like a lot of uh, plagues happened in that first and season. Vaccines and such. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot um, of plagues happening. Yeah, at ex- at like those mentions or those topics actually um, helped me solidify my least favorite episode of the season. And for me, that is symbiosis mm, because mm. it was not this fucking prime directive shit again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and they, and they contradicted it right, within it. the episode. Are there, like, yeah. so I assume there's a lot more prime directive episodes, right? There's not going to be as many. Um, I hate. And, okay. The thing is, okay. Remember what I said? <laughs> when I, when I, okay. Here's the thing. When I said before that it's not until the end of the series, towards the end that the prime directive episodes make sense. I was wrong. It's actually, there's an episode in season three where the prime direct, it's a prime directive episode, but it's actually done well and therefore kind of interesting. I don't believe you did. <laughs> <laughs> prime directive sucks. Totally dude. fair. Yeah. Well, totally fair. Like I, I, am, I, yeah. am, I am ready to like tear apart any, any upcoming prime directive episode. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think symbiosis is especially annoying because they contra- it's not contradicted between episodes. It's contradicted within its own episode. Yeah, precisely. Just- <laughs> yeah, that's the big thing. And also like, yeah, I, I think it's just that sticking point that keeps like, it's up in my yeah. craw, man. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a clever twist, you know, but at the end, I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it ain't for me. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Uh, I think this will be an easy one. Uh, what was the shocking, the most shocking, surprising, or memorable moment for you? You know what it was, dude. Yeah. For I me, don't want to even talk about it. It's also <laughs> Tasha Yar for me. Because uh, for well, me, for minute, different are we reasons. about in, like in the context of this particular like podcast? Watch yeah, in through, the context or? of this particular podcast. For Ricardo, it makes sense because the first time he saw it. For right. me, it's because I didn't realize how I would be affected by it. Um, okay, when, okay, I, I, I when I first watched it, I was like, eh, whatever, Tasha's dead, you know? But mm-hmm. when I rewatched it again in this podcast, I know it's coming. I know exactly how it's going to turn out. But I was still like, man, I, I'm sad Tasha died. <laughs> um, sure. So I wasn't expecting that. So that's what made it memorable to me. There's a lot of other memorable things that happened. Throughout the, like, I had forgotten that when the bow breaks, I actually kind of like the way Wesley handles the situations. It makes sense the way he does it. And his right, character right. works. Also, the I same. Like that you com- said something positive about Wesley. <laughs> well, yeah, you liked him in Coming of Age too, right? <laughs> that's true, like that's true, that's the, the, true. the Academy yeah. episode. He's great in that yeah. episode. Actually, yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, actually, Coming of Age would be maybe my most surprising because of like th- that sort of reason where it's like, oh, they they actually did good Wesley. I yeah, forgot it, that good Wesley was there. I, I, that, that's what that's what Wesley should be. He should be yeah. like this guy who's very smart, but he's still a kid and he's still learning, and he's got a long way to go like well you know. that's because they finally let him be the one who's like um accepting information and learning instead of being the shit know-it-all kid who thinks adults are or bitches yeah yeah like that scene where the, the where deanna troy and and crusher walks away and she goes women and you're like yeah. what? <laughs> what the fuck dude like <laughs> they're like uh, yeah uh, so i mean like that's a that's a different or that's a definite like different approach to wesley that uh, it makes all the difference in the world yeah yeah and that's it's it's, it's, it's unfor- I, I honestly think wesley actually gets worse <laughs> as the series goes I, on like i, I don't am like that. trying to remember like how he factors into later episodes and it's it's escaping he me, shows so up I'm far waiting less to see. but he gets worse that's the issue for me um, okay all right so let's see how that plays out to me but any at least from what i'm remembering maybe when i watch it i'll be like oh yeah just like with um coming of age because like, i feel like from here on out i i remember a bunch more scenes of wesley in the uh, what's what's that restaurant bar that they always go to 10 forward 10 forward yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. yeah like i think uh most ten of my forward memories is coming that's what makes me ex- i'm excited for 10 forward it's because it's a great set so it is uh, a great set yeah. like great uh, conversations happen in that place yeah and it's like lit very differently from everywhere else so it's always mm-hmm. like here we're in a different situation environment it's nice i like it whenever they did that yeah and, and, some, and with 10 forward comes Guinan, and Guinan mm-hmm. is uh, like sort of magical negro sometimes but most of the time she's just a really good character i think so i, I think um she'll she'll be interesting as we we see her more often yeah we'll, yeah we'll 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 get there yeah speaking of characters who is now your favorite character now that the season's over because i mm. i think that may have fluctuated over time what do you mm. think ricardo <sighs> it's Wesley, right? Because you initially said well, Tasha not, Yar. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I the season is the, she's in the season, so she's my favorite character. Okay, so she's so so she, that remains Tasha Yar. Yeah. Okay. But the, okay. The, no new characters uh, showed up from when she died till the end of the <laughs> and season. And no one developed to become a better character. For you. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, fair. fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what about you, Dan? I do like George Jones. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. your favorite character. <laughs> he's my second yeah, he's, favorite. He's cool. What about Teabag? Yeah. Teabag wasn't cool enough. He didn't. He, he didn't say "Ah, precious" or whatever <laughs> his, his catchphrase was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, wait. Didn't he call everybody pretty? Pretty. That's it. Yeah, pretty. pretty. That's it. Pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's precious? Uh, the Lord of the Rings. Ugh. Yeah, your favorite. You fucking did it to yourself. I know, dude. I know. Yeah, dude. you're <laughs> the one who brought up Lord of the Rings this time. <laughs> I nearly did it earlier because I found a way in, but then I realized, yeah, no, I'm bringing up Lord of the Rings. You pulled again. out. You pulled out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Last yeah. second. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was the question? Who's your favorite character now? Favorite character for uh, this season? It sucks. But, or, I mean, like, it, it sucks asking me this question because I think it's always going to be Picard. Yeah, it it well, it's because this whole show is like Picard has so much to do all the time, and he's like he's always the m- most considered character. Like they put the most work into developing him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's it's easy to like him. I think for s- seasons moving forward, we may have to say who's your favorite character who's not Picard. 
Um, cause he gets Possibly, better yeah. cause he gets better as a character. All right. If we what, ask that question right now, yeah, I think maybe, uh, Jordy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I actually agree with you. I was going to say Jordy because he has some really cool, I get to be captain moments this season. Yeah. And, and he and rises this is the to only the season where he gets to do that apparently. So, and he yeah. completely rises to the occasion and is a cool guy. And I really like that when he became a captain, like an arsenal of freedom. Like he's a very different type of captain to either Riker or Picard or Lieutenant Data Manning the bridge. Like they all that have different true. styles. Mm -hmm. Jordy's is like the most energetic style. He's running from station to station, telling people how to do things, you know? And yeah, he's like, very and I, I see a bit of myself in him because like when he, his style of command is still being so hands-on because that's still all he knows. He doesn't know how to delegate yet. Yeah. And because like, it's partly that because he's new to it, but partly because he's like excited. He's like, you know, I, I really want to prove myself and like, you know, this fucking guy from down in engineering thinks he can take my job. I'll fucking show him. You know, I'm going to go around. Yeah. With all these yeah. new guys. Like, Good and, I, I, and I love that, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense, I love that his crew was all newbies and they were all just trying to like <laughs> figure his stuff out together, you know? Yeah. And he was in charge, you know? And even Deanna Troy started backing him up. He's like, you're doing a great job, Jordy. You know, I believe in you. You know, that was good. But yeah. moving forward, I don't know if he'll stay my favorite character. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, some some weird some stuff shit happens. happens yeah but you know but. yeah now's right. the time to like jordy <laughs> yeah now is the time now is the time before the the the, uh, the unfortunate things happen but <laughs> well all right we've uh we did it guys we finished a full season 26 episodes or 25 depending on how you're counting it uh episodes of star trek the next generation uh, it's Woo. been a fun, it's been a fun ride so far, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I yep. mean, and, it, and and it only goes up from here. Yeah, it, it only gets better. This is the worst season by far, so <laughs> it gets oh, yeah, like this, way better. Uh, like, yeah, this bodes well because I think we've had a decent amount of fun even with these episodes. Yeah, so like yeah, I'm as, like I'm like a little wondering because part of the, the the part of the promos I've been making for like TikTok and whatnot mm -hmm. have been based around how these episodes are bullshit. But as the sure. episodes get more legitimate, <laughs> I'm going to have more trouble finding moments to like make bullshit uh, out we'll of. We'll see. Yeah, Don't worry. We just yeah. have to be really funny. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, you know, you know. We just have to be really funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anyway, this was the end of the first season of Newbie Star Trek, everybody. Thank you if you've been watching or listening the whole time. Uh, it's yeah. No, if you're watching, as you're watching the wrong podcast, yeah. well, and, and now and not not only to the people who've been listening the whole time, but any newcomers, because we feel it seems like we're getting more and more. Like as time goes by, yeah, uh, uh, it's been really nice to see the amount of support growing. Um, as like when we started, you know, just started. We didn't really like advertise anywhere. We just started podcasting, and uh, we were trying to advertise on Pornhub, but <laughs> we didn't. We didn't have the. <laughs> It wasn't porny enough, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, we tried. Then they and deleted all those videos anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there and went then, our stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah. So, like, there's been a bunch of people who've been, like, gone on record and being like, uh, we started sharing your podcast with friends and stuff like that. And it's like, it's really, really appreciate it. Anybody who's been doing that, I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Uh, we kind yeah. of, we're not sponsored. We're kind of just doing this. So, yeah, uh, we really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, every yeah. so often I like I get on to the TikTok account and like check out some of the comments. People leave a lot of nice things to say. So thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks for being nice people. You guys are good people. Um, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I, I like to think the podcast is sort of for both Star Trek fans and people who are also kind of like tangentially aware of Star Trek. Because sure. to me, a lot of the fun of Star Trek is not just getting into the nitty gritty of it as a fan, but also th as an outsider, when you look at it, you go, what is happening? This is bullshit. <laughs> no, one of the, one of the funnest <laughs> things to do, and this was part of the reason why this podcast even exists. Like one of the funnest things to do as anyone who knows about Star Trek is to like, just start bullshitting about like, Hey, remember that stupid thing that happened? Yeah. And it doesn't even, it, and it's not even all from season one. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. There's oh, plenty of stupid oh, crap that'll keep happening. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll be oh, able to yeah. bring it up. Oh yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's that's that's the fun where you can just like generalize and broadly describe something that sounds a completely absurd. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, yeah. season two season finale is one of my favorite ones to sum to summarize. Oh my god, you're spoiling <laughs> we'll get things there. for me now, dude. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get there. there. We'll get there. We'll come get there. on, dude. We'll get there. We'll get there. But but yeah, if you've uh if you if, whether you're new, or you've been here for the whole ride. Thank you. Um, we'll be back with season two, but we're gonna take like a two week break. Um, because uh, I edit these podcasts. I could use a break. <laughs> so um, why don't we say? Why don't we just record this just in case? We're gonna take a two to three to four week break. No more than four. Mm-hmm. Two to four. Yeah. We're gonna see. Uh, and then we we got we're we're gonna have some new things for season two. Yeah, some cool things. We're going to take a two, three, four, four five, five, <laughs> six, six weeks week. Off. Weeks, yeah. Break. Then yeah. I have all the material you need to edit, Marvin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave it two weeks because I don't want to. Look, I, I we're gonna wanna... have a one, two, three weeks. We shall say because then we can cut it any way we want. One <laughs> week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, <laughs> five weeks. We'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo, for car- yeah. covering all our bases. Um, yeah. But yeah, but, but when we come back, uh, we're going to have a new theme. Yeah. It's uh, going to be compo- Glenn Miller's In the Mood. <laughs> if, if I can. Be- <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, dude. That's the real shit. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. OD on it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the version that we like is we, we, we speed it up. It's funnier when it's sped up and then it becomes. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, we're going to come back with a new theme composed by an uh, old friend of Dan and mine, uh, Nathan Glenn Tang. Glenn Miller, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nathan Tang, he, uh, he came up with a really interesting version of the theme. Uh, which I'm re- I'm really excited to share with you guys. I'm going to make that a bonus episode because I Marvin's I want... withholding it from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I haven't he shown, shown it to, to you guys because it's not done yet. He just sent me a demo, but um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna um make that a bonus episode at high quality so that everyone gets to hear the nice song he made instead of it always just being truncated in the podcast. And uh, we'll nice. just make that I'll just make that a bonus episode and do that. But yeah, if uh if you wanted to catch more episodes of our podcast, somehow you don't know how you got here. <laughs> you can find yeah. more episodes at uh, newbiestartrek.com. That's n e w b i e star trek.com. Yo, uh, maybe like you're you're in, you're in your friend's car and you guys are getting really high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you guys, you, he's like, man, uh, what is this episode? Yeah. And then we just we just let you know what the, what you're listening to. Yeah. I'll be frank. I'm not a hundred percent sure why. Like this is all stuff I've read. I should be doing for a podcast. You should tell mm-hmm. them where to go to the next podcast because I don't know. Uh, so, it's apparently uh, just to peel back the curtain a little bit dear listener yeah uh, you're, i don't you're know what how I'm the doing. sausage is made <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing so yeah. i'm just following random pieces of advice i see here and there but anyway if you find this information useful feel free to tell us <laughs> i'd love to know who actually needs this information <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I would i would love to know under what I, circumstances I, I, think, I think this is old timey like radio thing like wnbc don't forget you're listening to WNBC. <laughs> it's like we don't need to call out or fucking <laughs> yeah, thing yeah. Every, yeah every, i don't know every I don't hour know. on the hour i don't know so if, you, if you got here somehow and updates. you don't know how we're newbie star trek go to newbie star trek.com or newbie statham.com yeah, you'll find us. Okay, and if uh, you just link to this and you're like, "Who? What is Statham?" Yeah, go back a couple episodes and you'll discover yeah. my love for Jason Statham and Luke Picard. And if you combine those two, you have the remake of this show with Jason Statham. Boom. Maybe mm-hmm. that, maybe one day uh, we'll get Statham to be on the show talking about him <laughs> wanting to be Picard. He's very confused. He's, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't know why I'm here. Like, what is the context of everything? I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he's all, oh, I fuck you, Mike. And then he just roundhouse just kicks us. He roundhouse kicks the mics. What yeah. is it? You told me this was newbie Statham. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is, sir. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's literally. We're on the website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you if are you, the if transporter. You know, <laughs> yeah, if you know Jason Statham, if you're a listener and you know Jason Statham, let, let us know. We'd like to talk to him about, <laughs> about our pitch. I can't believe this is our primary running gag. <laughs> <laughs> it's all thanks to Ricardo. 
Uh, Thanks, Ricardo. Yeah. Also, then, also before we before we 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 sign off for this last episode, and until uh, one week, two weeks, three weeks, <laughs> four weeks from now. Uh, <laughs> um, hey, if you like the sweet, sweet, sweet taste of espresso snowflake or Skywalker or oh sour God. diesel, please. Let ease ease.com know <laughs> that uh, that they should sponsor us and that that you like their <laughs> products and you like our products and yeah. that these two products should fucking fuck yeah. together and and come out with a <laughs> with a <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah. uh, and you know maybe they'll sponsor us or something yeah uh, or at least like they, they, I could stop paying for my weed yeah <laughs> <laughs> free weed yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah free ease yeah ease. I thought that was the whole point of this journey yeah. <laughs> To smoke that weed. Uh, but uh, also, we have another podcast, the Fugitive Frames Film Podcast. Yeah. Uh, where, you know, talk about movies and shows. And we got recommendations. Netflix recommendations next week, guys. If you want to be recommended, TV sh- we do some TV shows and we do some movies. Um, we do two TV shows recommendations and the rest are movies. Uh, we do a top 10 mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. Netflix. Uh, we're going to try to do one every month, guys. Fugitive yeah. Frames. Fugitive Frames film podcast yeah fugitive mm-hmm. frames yeah fugitive frames uh, did i add an s or is it fugitive frames it's fugitive frames okay yes. okay okay yeah I which you, you can find it high. at fugitiveframes.com yeah podcast. or statham loves frames <laughs> <dot org. laughs> don't go there don't go that there it's not real don't go there <laughs> newbie yeah. statham is real yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. newbie statham yeah. is real uh that fugitive frames film podcast you can find at fugitiveframes.com or Either podcast, newbie Star Trek, or Fugitive Frames Film Podcast. Just search for it, and you're gonna you're gonna find it. You know? We have so many domains. Yeah, just just do a search, and you'll find it. You know, yeah. that's fine. We're confusing <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Listen, if you go to bagulrules.com, no, 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 that's too much. They're not ready for Bagul. Okay. <laughs> If you want to know what Bagul is, no, don't, don't, you don't tell them. Don't you got to you got to go to the Fugitive Frames <laughs> film podcast. That's where yeah. we discuss Bagul. Yeah, we're not yeah, bringing there's... Bagul into newbie Star Trek. It's too much. There's your hook. There's is too yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. There's your homework. Bagul be praised. Look, we've taken enough of your time. We apologize. <laughs> if you're still listening, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Also, one, one last plug: our YouTube channel. Oh my god, Fugitive Games. <laughs> We uh, play games on it. We play yeah, games on it. We're doing we're doing Phoenix Wright, LA Noir yeah. right now. Okay? Have fun. So, yeah. So and if you, you if, in our last plug, fugitiveeats.com. <laughs> where we if you, <laughs> if you if food recipes. <laughs> We do tasty style recipes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that, that, that's, that's not real. That's not real. Real. Uh, if you want to see Fugitive, yeah, yeah, yeah. check you out my see- blog posts that are eighty percent an anecdote and twenty percent recipe. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate those. <laughs> I'm so. Whenever I try to find a goddamn recipe, and ninety percent of the page is them describing the food to me, and the recipe itself is at the very bottom. I have to scroll all the way fucking down to see how to cook this fucking thing. Well, you know, the nights have been colder lately, and that reminded me of back when I was 12 years old. (laughs) My mom would make beef, pork, and yawn, and this is how I make beef, pork, and yawn. (laughs) Beef, pork, and yawn. (laughs) Just like... Uh, but but yeah, Fugitive Games you can find at the URL fugitive.games, or just search for Fugitive Games on YouTube. Search for Fugitives. Yeah. <laughs> Search for- Eventually you'll find us. Search for Fugitive Frames and yeah. Fugitive Games. You'll find shit. Okay. Fugitive Games. If, if you're interested in, in uh, movies with Harrison Ford that aren't Star Wars. <laughs> uh, yep. Search yeah, the Fugitive yeah, yeah, on yeah. IMDb.com. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And enjoy. But yeah, we've uh, we've taken up enough of your time. Uh thanks for oh, listening, boy. everybody. We'll be back in a bit. I think two weeks, but we'll see. Three weeks. Four weeks. Well, how it was this a long <laughs> but, one? But we'll yeah. be back. We'll be back. We'll be back, and uh, we'll be back with some uh, with some new changes that should be fun. But in the meantime, stay safe, everyone, uh, and have a great day. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Yeah, and if you're the writer that wrote "fucking off," Tasha Yara, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs>